Okay, today I'm going to be unboxing a uh, Bella 5 quart programmable um, slow cooker. I've had a lot of, uh, well not a lot, but several requests for some slow cooker recipes. Um, crock pot style recipes that people can start in the morning and have it ready by the time they come home. And uh, so in order to uh, try out some of those recipes and... Uh, share them with you um i needed to get myself a uh crock pot so uh this crock pot uh, i got off of amazon it was only 29 dollars uh i did want a programmable one and i did want a five quart one so this one fit the bill for the right price so and it got here pretty fast if you buy through amazon i'm sure a lot of you um probably uh familiar with it but I ordered it on Sunday and it came on Tuesday so I thought that was pretty good I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it out uh, here's some of the uh, items uh, that it has uh, the glass lid of course I, I always enjoy a glass lid um, the uh, Insert is removable and it is dishwasher safe. That's another thing that I thought was pretty important to uh, to have uh, So there's some of the big um, uh, Items that it has So here's your lid. This is an oval shaped. I was not aware of that when I bought it doesn't really matter to me um just that it didn't really say it was oval um, shaped, but that's fine. It looked round in the picture, but I guess it's just because it's um, given head on. It's the insert, and here is the base. And that's about it. I'm going to, uh, it also said it came with recipes. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. That looks like it might be some recipes in there. I'll have to check those out. I'll let you know if there's anything worth, uh, mentioning um as i go through these uh actually using this so that's about it pretty basic really and there's how it fits there now i've got a recipe all ready to go and uh once i get it going I will finish, come back and show you how it uh, finished up. Uh, so I'll be back at that point. Okay, so a couple things to uh, mention here. Uh, first of all, uh, it's got a very short cord. Um, I don't know if that's typical or not, but that's a pretty short cord. There's only a few places in my kitchen I can place that without um, some type of an extension cord. Um, so basically it's just got an on and off mode. Uh, once you turn it on here, the other thing that I need to to mention is that it uh, basically only has increments of 30 minutes, so like six and a half hours, six hours, and so on. Here's your modes. You just switch between high and low, and warm. So those are the uh, uh, three uh, mode settings. So basically once you set the time it just starts cooking and starts heating up and you can feel it on the outside. Uh, one thing I didn't like is this little bubble uh, panel. Um, it's got a lot of bubbles in it up here around the base here. I don't know what the deal is there but you can see it's not exactly uh, flush. I don't know how much of a big deal that's going to be but... Um, We'll see what happens with that. It just seems to me it's a little bit bubbly there. It seems to smooth out once it got hot. So maybe that's uh, maybe it's flexible because of the heat. I'm not sure. 
but we'll see how that turns out uh, in the future. Okay, so I got it filled up. Uh, seems to be doing fine. Um, I have this set for six hours. After six hours, apparently it's supposed to switch over to warm and keep it warm. So uh, that'll be a pretty nice feature. Um, I, I didn't read the directions or anything. I'm just hoping it, it does that automatically. I'll let you know if that's what happens. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it uh, did switch to uh, warm. And... That was after six hours and it looks like it uh, started a four hour countdown from there so it does switch to uh, warming automatically and it looks like that uh, it will hold that warming for uh, four hours or until you unplug it so that works pretty good and as you can see after six hours it did make a good batch of uh, soup and uh, for the most part I'm pretty happy with it it's not that bad for uh, the price I paid